Hey guys, it's me, Miss Pika Lover 3. We have a Kardashian crisis in our hands. Would Kourtney Kardashian be better off if Scott Disick weren't Mason's father? Earlier this week, In Touch exclusively revealed that model Michael Gergenti, who worked with Kourtney Kardashian on a photo shoot in 2008, believes he may be Mason Disick's biological father. Not Scott Disick. Nine months after Michael and Courtney's alleged sexual encounter on December 14, 2013, Courtney gave birth to Mason and was back together with Scott, her longtime boyfriend, and her the publicly acknowledged father of her child. Now Michael is asking for a DNA test to prove that he's Mason's dad. And Michael, who admittedly thinks Courtney is a good mother, is skeptical of Scott, who is noxious for his party and poor treatment of her. But it's no surprise that Scott isn't exactly father of the year. Here's why. He loves to party. Scott would rather be out clubbing with his friends until the sun comes up at home with Courtney and his kids. He doesn't want to grow up a pallid mint. He has anger issues. Scott terrified Courtney when he put his fist into a mirror during a 2010 fight on Courtney and Kim Take Miami. He's bullied her for her weight. She's saying she's too heavy. He makes Court do it all. It's obvious Courtney is the primary parent, says Michael, who replies, replies, no. When asked if he'd want Scott to continue caring for Mason if a DNA test proves Michael is the father. He spoils himself. Scott is always buying new toys like his audio, Audi R8 for himself, not his kids. He's immature and selfish, and Cyrus says. He puts him, himself first in pretty much every situation. Do you think Scott is a good parent to Mason and Penelope, or would Courtney be better off if Michael were Mason's bad? Which sounds sound off in comment. Well, that's the reason. I mean, I think that Scott is Mason's father. I gotta go. Let's see what else we can find. Bye!